a secondary alcohol, the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group is bonded to two other carbon atoms. To identify the classification from the name, you have to know that you will never have position one of the hydroxyl in the name and there will be no branch on the same position. The first stage of oxidation is the loss of hydrogen. One hydrogen is removed from the hydroxyl group and the second is removed from the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group. When drawing the product, you need to make sure that each element has the correct number of bonds. So now we form a carbon to oxygen double bond. So the product of the first stage of oxidation of a secondary alcohol will produce a ketone. The name of the functional group which can be found in here, which is our C double bond O, is known as the carbonyl functional group. To name this molecule, we have to state the position of the functional group within the chain and within the name. The name of this would be butan 2 one A wee story to help us remember that is a ketone is all alone. The C double bond O does not have a hydrogen pal. That's when we have an alkanal. The second stage of oxidation is the gain of an oxygen atom. Because there is no hydrogen bonded to the carbon which contains the functional group, this means that no second stage of oxidation will occur. A secondary alcohol will only oxidise to produce the ketone. So for the summary of oxidation of secondary alcohols, we have to know the name of the family and be able to name the functional group and draw the functional group which would be found on the full structural formula. We have a secondary alcohol. The name of that functional group is the hydroxyl, which can be drawn as OH. The first stage of oxidation is the loss of hydrogen and we would produce the family known as the ketones. The name of that functional group is the carbonyl. Remember, ketone is all alone, so we would have our C double bond O. And we have to remember that carbon has a valence of four, so we have to make sure that it has four lines coming out of it. Here are some examples for you to have a go at. Um, I would like you to have a go at drawing the full structural formula for the secondary alcohols given and then to draw the products of the oxidation and to also name those products. When you're ready, if you just press resume, the answers will pop up in the screen. Past paper questions from the higher 2018 multiple choice 9. Oxidation of 4 methyl pentan 2 to the corresponding ketone results in the alcohol and we have options A, B, C and D. What we need to remember is that secondary alcohols undergo the first stage of oxidation which is the loss of hydrogen and the GFM for one mole of hydrogen is 2 grams so the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer A. This past paper question is from the higher 2017 written 6A part 1. A student was carrying out an investigation into alcohols, aldehydes and ketones. The student was given three alcohols labelled A, B and C. These alcohols were all isomers with the formula C4H9OH. Draw the structural formula for the secondary alcohol with the formula C4H9OH. So firstly, we have to know our definition. A secondary alcohol, the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group, is bonded to two other carbon atoms. So if we draw out the carbon containing our hydroxyl group, we bond our carbon so that we know that the carbon which contains the hydroxyl group has two carbons bonded to it. And then we fill out with our hydrogens and that makes us draw butan 2 -O. This past paper question is from the revised higher 2014 multiple choice 15. 
A compound with the following structure is used in perfumes to provide a sweet, fruity fragrance. This compound could be classified as, we can see that we've got our C double bond O, which is our carbonyl functional group. The ketone is all alone. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer D. Thank <laughs> you.